Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Johnson Kapovi back again with another video. And in today's video, we are doing a video on how to get a body like Kakarot, aka Goku. Now, first thing is first, before I start talking about anything or whatever in this video, I want you guys to tell me whether I should do a video on how to get a body like Vegeta. <sighs> Alright, now guys. Vegeta is one of my favorite characters mainly because he is excellently dope, alright? Excellently. I never use that word for anime characters, people. He is dope as hell, alright? The way he just faces things, the way he overcomes his friend Goku and then again surpasses him, obviously it's gonna become annoying to him. That's, but that's what I love about him. He strives to improve and he finds his own way to get stronger. Anyways guys, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It will be highly appreciated. And let's get right into this video. Now guys, like I promised, I am warming up before I start to work out, like my do my actual workout. So before you start with your actual workout, you will warm up because you do not want any injuries and I do not promote injuries on this channel. Okay, so let's warm up. guys it's the next day i couldn't film at the park because it was too windy so yeah let's just continue right now okay okay so yesterday the first two exercises we did were a behind the back clap push-up with um russian dips now when the first thing you notice about goku especially when he doesn't have a shirt on is his chest and his arms and what these two exercises are going to help you with is to get a chest like goku as well as delts and the tricep okay now not only that it also helps with explosive strength guys when you see goku's movements and all how he moves and all that stuff he moves with explosiveness the way he fights every movement of goku is explosive that's why i chose both these two exercises they not only give you muscle but also help with explosive strength for example with the behind the back clap push-up you might find that you are able to react faster with your arms especially when you're about to punch someone i'm not saying go punch go do this push-up just to punch someone i'm just i'm just giving you advice that it might help you react faster and with the russian dip it also helps with your transitional strength which means that you are also going to be able to react faster when it comes to transitions or something like that or like when you are learning the muscle okay
right, um, the next two exercises we did. Okay, well, the first one was kind of like a super set. So we did tuck, advanced tuck level to an L sit, and the other one was side to side knee raises. Okay, now what the what the super set is gonna help you with is in terms of your core. Now Goku has um, an ama amazing core strength as well as amazing abs. This exercise is gonna help you with abs. At the same time, it's also gonna help you with your core strength and also your hip flexor strength. And this exercise is also good like um, teaching yourself uh, how to stay in positions for a much longer time. Like for example, you wanna master something like a front lever. You, you might start off like with an easier variation first. Um, let's say the harder variation, like for me, it's a advanced tuck, plan, advanced tuck level which then i transition into an l sit meaning my core is now working double time so that it can gain the strength much faster okay and the second exercise was a side to side knee raise which is also going to help your abs especially your lower abs and also give you some amazing core strength like a quick shot okay goku son goku The next exercise we are doing, it's a super set. We are doing chin up to straight bar dips. All right, now for the chin ups, you wanna aim for about eight to 10 reps for I did 10, okay? And then straight bar dips, again, you wanna aim for eight to 10, but I did 10, I did 10 of everything. So if you wanna do it like me, you can do so. Now what the chin up is gonna work on is your bicep because you know, bro, you gotta have that bicep though, all right? Okay, like Goku, you know, all right? And then, uh, not only your bicep, but it focuses on your bicep and also your lower back and a lot of other stuff, which I'm gonna write down, okay? And then your the, the next exercise you're gonna jump into from chin up is the straight bar dip, which is gonna work on your tricep and your lower chest. And if you're someone that's working on the muscle up is also gonna help you strengthen the top part of the muscle up. Okay? Guys, I, I don't know why I keep drifting off, but anyways, the last two exercises we are doing are for the legs and you know we gotta do legs. Now when you look at Goku, especially when he's fighting, he jumps a lot, he is super explosive and I, I just don't know how you... Boom! Shoo. Look, these people jump from the earth to the sky, so I'm like, whoa, okay? Whoa, Kakarot, what the hell you been eating though? Uh, okay, I don't know what came over me. But anyways, the first exercise we are gonna do is a rocket squat. Now, what a rocket squat is gonna work on is your calf, your hamstring, your quads, your glutes, okay? It's an amazing exercise for endurance and also 
to gain some explosive strength especially in jumping okay and the last leg exercise we did was a squat calf raise which is gonna work on your calves okay now guys the calves are one of the hardest muscles to grow so don't be afraid to like like just use a gym to grow your calves because I'm I'm not lucky enough to afford a gym right now but yeah soon soon I will be able to show okay now that was the last exercise guys we are done for the day we gotta get a body like Goku just do that workout okay now be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet give me ideas on enemy characters that you want me to do and I will do them be sure to follow me at the elite warrior on Instagram and as always the people do not make you you make who you are until next time oh I forgot one soon Thank you.